making art to serve the city. That's the goal of the St. Louis Story Stitchers. Professional artists work with young people to raise awareness about violence and other tough issues. So here we have Brandon Lewis. He's the Youth Artistic Coordinator for St. Louis Story Stitchers. We have Amira Burns. She leads the youth program for the St. Louis Story Stitchers. Uh, thank you so much both to you, to both of you for coming. Thank you. Amira, we'll go ahead and start with you. Tell me a little bit about what you have seen happens in the young people who are in this program. Um, amazing things, amazing things. Thanks for having me on sure. here. Um, the youth, when they come to Story Stitchers, we give them a platform to express themselves artistically. Okay. Um, and when they do this, they also get a group of friends that are like-minded, and this helps keep them focused and out of trouble, basically. And that's our biggest goal, is to keep them out of trouble um, because we don't want them to become, you know, statistics mm -hmm. and youth that are at, that are at risk, we want to make sure that we give them those tools they need to be successful young adults. But Brandon, it seems almost like they're running into trouble because they're tackling some tough topics here. COVID, youth violence, gun Absolutely. violence. Uh, how do you help to balance uh, the students trying to lead a healthy life for themselves mm -hmm. while trying to help their community as, as well? Well, we understand that one of the most healthy things that you can do to express is to express yourself, uh, particularly in a healthy way. So uh, one of the main ways that we use to express is through art, singing, dancing, rapping, poetry, podcasts or whatnot. Uh, youth have voices. They have things to say. These are the ones that are at risk. They're the ones going through the things that we're trying to save and protect them from. You know, and uh, us as well, we grew up in these same communities, mm -hmm. you know, and so it, they're the ones going through it. And if they have something to say, I feel like we should listen to that. Do you often hear unique perspectives coming through maybe song lyrics or coming through interpretive dance? Absolutely. Absolutely. All the time. Every every perspective is unique in one way or another because every, everyone's experience is unique, you know. And uh, one of the beautiful things about being at Story Stitches is that everybody gets a voice. You get a voice. If you have nothing else, you have a voice and you have companionship. And so that's what we offer and uh, they, they love it. You know, they take a sense of pride and a sense of ownership in knowing when I speak, I'm going to be heard. Uh, tell me a little bit about the I Got You campaign. The I Got You campaign. Yeah. So um, who, who asked us to do that? Uh, this I believe was that was the CDC, CDC Foundation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. How so, do you feel knowing that that's, I mean, it's the Centers for Disease Control. That's huge. Right, right, yeah. absolutely. So we were one of 30 organizations that uh, received funding to uh, help boost uh, vaccine confidence. And uh, the way that we chose to do that through art was uh, we did it through story circles, which were podcasts that we had with medical professionals, uh, which included uh, the community uh, that way. If you have questions about what's going on, which a lot of people had questions, mm -hmm. um, you can ask the professional right here. Okay. Yeah. You could talk directly to the professional. Uh, we did that through dance battles, where we also brought up, at the time, the director uh, of health was uh, Dr. Eccles, mm -hmm. who we brought. And they, uh, the dancers and participants were also able to ask questions. And what we found was there was a legitimate worry of uh, trust, mm -hmm. which is why uh, confidence needed to be boosted. And so uh, we, we listened to these stories. Uh, we listened to what the community was saying and also what we were saying, because we are the community. You know, we are the community. Most uh, members of Story Stitches, most of the youth in Story Stitches were, I don't want to say anti-vaccination, but they were definitely worried. There, there was, was a lot, lot of confusion. Yeah. There was a lot that a lot of people didn't know. We only have a couple of seconds. We mm -hmm. talked about the students themselves, the work they do. Any reaction from the community? The community, I think that more youth were um, educated you know, from what we did and felt more comfortable to ask more questions about how to get vaccines, you know. A hundred percent. You they, know, yeah, go ahead. And they learned that it's okay to ask questions. It's yeah. okay to, to be confused and whatnot. And uh, like I said, in the beginning, almost no one wanted to get vaccinated. Afterwards, uh, we, had, we we went from like zero uh, of our youth being vaccinated to 20 of them being vaccinated okay, after see? the campaign. You Talk know, about so, moving so, the needle for exactly. sure. <laughs> Brandon Lewis, Mia Burns, St. Louis Story Stitchers, thank you both so much much for coming in and uh, continued success and all the work you're doing in our community. So Appreciate much. it so Coming much. up next.